Hello, I'm Veronika. I'm from a German uh, Eurovision page. Uh, ESC Compact is the name. And yeah, I'm very happy that we can do this uh, interview. And um, uh, first, I uh, would start with talking about your, en your entry. Uh, growing up is getting old. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the making, how it was written, how it the music, the lyrics, the recording, yeah. Um, we we made, me and the team of the song, we made a demo of, uh, of it back in 2019 yeah. on a songwriting camp in Bulgaria on the seaside. Um, and we made the, the almost the whole song uh, without the middle eight uh, for four or five hours, which was very fast. But we were really inspired because the day before I had wrote some notes in my phone and we started um, working on the lyrics that I wrote and we came up with the melodies and we decided to record some harmonies. That's my favorite thing to do, recording yeah. harmonies. And yeah, that, that was the beginning of Growing Up Is Getting Old. Yeah. And was it like an autobiographical situation when you had the, the lyrics in your head or did they just came to you? Um, because you describe a very special situation, emotional situation. Yeah, um, I was feel, feeling really down the day before the session yeah. and I just, I was holding my phone and I just wrote some things. I just wrote how I feel at that yeah, moment. Yeah. And this is this basically became the half of the lyrics of the song. Yeah, yeah. And did it help to write the lyrics so it made so, you feel better afterwards? Uh, yeah, uh, that's uh, my one of my very very first songs that I writ that I wrote with my yeah. own lyrics and my own melodies. So yeah. it was really magical moment for me when I when we made the demo, because when we were listening to it, um, Maya, who is the other songwriter, um, she cried at the end when we recorded the, the demo. So it was yeah. very emotional moment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very good because you can feel it if there is an emotional connection with the song. Yeah. And for me as a listener, it's very nice if I can feel that by listening. Mm -hmm. um, Thank you. Yeah. And um, um, when there was the selection of the songs this year, um, where was a uh, point up is getting uh, is getting old one of your favorites? And could you choose a little bit, or was it really like only uh, um, opinions from the fans, from professional people? Or was it also you who could uh, make a difference? Uh -uh. Um, I actually made my first EP. So we yeah. used all of the songs for the, the selection. And yeah. we wanted to um, ask people for their opinions. Yeah. And Growing Up Is Getting Old was definitely one of my favorites. Uh, yeah. It's very hard to choose from all of your songs, your own yeah, songs, so because every everyone is important for you. Yeah, so it was a hard decision, but uh, I'm really happy with it. Um, yeah, it is, this is this is super wichtig to say that. Um, hello, erstmal, ich bin Hallo. Hi. Also ich kenne ja Victoria schon seit sechs Jahren. Um, die erste Schritte, die sie halt in der öffentliches Fernsehen gemacht äh, hat, das war beim X-Factor und ich war da in der Jury und seitdem sind wir, also stehen wir uns wirklich sehr nah und, und, und tauschen uns immer aus und mhm. arbeiten auch musikalisch ziemlich eng zusammen und es ist halt tatsächlich so, dass seitdem sie angefangen hat, ähm, mit ihrer eigenen Musik zu experimentieren ja, und ja. sich zu definieren als, als tatsächlich Künstlerin, mhm. äh, ist nicht wirklich möglich, dass äh, irgendjemand ihr etwas äh, sagt, wenn das nicht auch ihre Meinung ist. 
Äh, sprich, mh, sie hätte nie eigentlich auf die Bühne gehen können mit einem Song, das vielleicht Favorite von anderen Leuten gewesen wäre, aber nicht von ihr. Weil ähm, im Vergleich zu vielen anderen Künstlern kann sie definitiv am besten, am besten auf der Bühne stehen, wenn sie zu 100 Prozent sich selber ist und eigentlich in sich reinkehrt und, und einfach erzählt. Und ich glaube, deswegen ist Growing Up uh, is Getting Old kommt auch so ehrlich an, weil das, das Song ist halt so, so persönlich für sie, aber auch ähm, wichtig, ähm, ein paar wichtige Sachen einfach anzusprechen, die, die im Leben jedes, nicht nur junges Menschen, wichtig sind. Und also eine Entscheidung ihr irgendwie abnehmen, das ist gar nicht möglich. I just said that it's not really possible that someone, someone else makes a decision for you. Yes, yes. <laughs> This, and then, of course, other, other, other good things, but like this is like very important, you know, you're definitely not one of one of the artists who can, who will just do anything to be on stage. Mm -hmm. I think that's very, this is, this is, this is halt ganz wichtig. Also sie, sie ist nicht, sie ist nicht da, weil jemand ihr diesen Angebot gemacht hat, sondern mm -hmm. weil, weil es die Möglichkeit ist, ein paar andere Themen auch anzusprechen. Ähm, die junge, das junge Publikum auch ein bisschen anders ähm, so aufzuholen und, äh, und den, als junger Mensch äh, die Sachen auch ein bisschen anders zu erzählen. Ja. Okay. Um, one of the things Lucy said uh, is that you are best when you 100% yourself on stage. And this leads me to the next question. Uh, of course, you want to know how you plan to stage your song in uh, Rotterdam? Um, the most important thing for my staging will be the simplicity and the, the emotion from the song that I, that I will give to, to the audience. Yeah. So um, I like simple things, um, but very emotional. That's all I can say. Okay, you can't. <laughs> Ich kann das nur bestätigen, weil bei, bei X Factor war es immer sehr schwer, sie in etwas also reinzubringen, einfach mhm. aus sie etwas zu bekommen, was sie nicht gespürt hat. Also unterschiedlichen Songs, die vielleicht viel danziger waren, da hat sie sich so unwohl gefühlt und ich habe auch in ihrem Namen so mit dem Stylisten immer gestritten und mit den äh, Arrangeuren, wir haben teilweise, obwohl ich nicht ihre Mentorin war, aber ich habe mich sehr viel für sie eingesetzt, weil ich habe von Anfang an etwas ganz Besonderes in sie gesehen und sie konnte das nicht zum Ausdruck bringen. Sie war sehr schüchtern, was sie immer noch ist. Ähm, aber sobald die Musik an war, war da diese unfassbare Stimme auf diese Bühne und alle haben sich gefragt, so, wie ist denn das möglich? Kurz davor ist sie so ja, hallo, ich bin Victoria und dann geht das Lied an und, äh, und, und ich glaube, aus, aus diesen Erfahrungen war es ziemlich klar, dass sie echt die Perfekte für, 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 den, für den Eurovision Song Contest ist, weil egal wie, wie, wie schüchtern oder auch teilweise in sich gekehrt ist, alle wissen, dass die sich auf sie 100% verlassen können, wenn sie auf der Bühne ist. Vor allem, dass sie sich auf sich verlassen kann, sobald alles stimmt. Ja. Bist du dann auch mit in Rotterdam dabei? Ich bin leider nicht, ich muss zurück nach Deutschland. Meine ah. Kollegen, ja genau, wir treffen uns wieder Mitte, Mitte Mai und äh, dann geht unsere Arbeit weiter. Ja. Okay. Aber ich bin jetzt da, also und, und, und genau, und arbeiten an die Sachen. I hope it's okay that we talk in German and you sit there and don't understand it. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, um, one of the uh, in part of the lyric is that you uh, um, that you have to grow up. And um, are there situations in your life where you felt like you had to grow up as a person? Like you can't be a, a child anymore and now, yeah. 
the last year was really hard for me, a very difficult year. And uh, I had to grow up really fast because life is hard sometimes. Yeah. So there were situations like the first, the pandemic came, they postponed yeah. the revision. It was very hard at the beginning with that. Then I had to um, just move on and to write new songs to find another way to like, uh, to choose a new song. Um, I had some family problems and yeah, it, it was a hard year, but yeah, that, that made me grow up pretty fast, yeah, yeah. which is, um, it's okay. Kind of. I didn't want it to grow up that fast, yeah, but it's yeah. yeah I that's think fine. nobody wants it. But if you have to, yeah. Have to. If I could have been a, a little child again, I I would die for that. And um, how did you feel when you got the message your vision is is cancelled? I can't perform anymore. Mm -hmm. And how was it when you learned you could perform again? Um, at first, I was worried if they're going to choose me again, because me and my team, we didn't know what is going to happen yeah. after the, the cancellation of Fear of Vision. Um, but then they chose me again. I was really, really happy with that. But at yeah. the same time, I was really sad because I can't uh, go again with my song, Tears Getting Sober, yeah. from last year. Um, but that's... That's a lesson. I, I take it for a, for a lesson in life. And I'm really grateful and happy that I still have the chance to go in Rotterdam and Bulgaria. Um, Bulgarian National Television chose me again, so that's, yeah. that's amazing. And maybe that's a positive thing. Now you can more or less present two songs to a big audience. Not the, the big, big audience that's just this year, but a lot of people got to know two of your songs and not only two but more but the whole EP while uh, choosing this entry so mm. maybe this is a positive thing maybe yeah it's uh yeah i've been working really hard so i'm i'm really happy that i that i will go there it, yeah. it's not going to be the same like every year on your vision but still yeah, like if we can be there the very one special year yeah it's still we can feel the emotion from the big stage that's very yeah, important yeah. and th there will be uh, a small audience which yeah, is yeah. also great Amazing. so yeah yeah do you think it's important for you as as an artist as a singer on stage to have this audience even it's if it's little again uh yeah it's very important because the audience gives you so much adrenaline and um like you can feel the energy of it and it gives you uh, yeah feedback and, and power yeah i think that um i think that there isn't an artist who doesn't live for the audience at the end yeah. of the day no matter how shy or outgoing you are as an artist there are no limits when it comes to your audience uh, um i mean we are on stage not to sing for ourselves, but because we have something to say. Yeah, yeah. And in Victoria's case, this is it's it's very she has a lot to say. It's, yes, it's the need really to be out there and 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 to say it. So without an audience, who are you gonna tell all yeah. these things that really matter and matter especially um in in in, in the times in the time we live. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I have to look, I have some questions. Um, yeah. Um, do you have some other favorite artists this year? Mm. Mm. Eurovision artists. Um, I, I like all of them because everyone is working really hard and I appreciate um, <laughs> that i mean if if you go to your vision that's already a win uh, yes. so everyone is uh, working really hard for their countries 
Um, you did meet some of the artists here, actually, didn't you? Yes, I met uh, Destiny from Malta. Um, uh, I met Blas Canto yesterday. Yeah, yeah. And you were uh, the day before yesterday. Yeah. Um, yeah, I really like them. I like the um, uh, the Switzerland song, the Germany song. Um, yeah, and all of the artists. So I can't really choose one. It's a very nice vibe this year. There are so many young artists, like yeah. really like like yeah, really young and and powerful and different and and artists with real messages, not just the show. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, das ist so eine Wende, die, glaube ich, so den Contest auch genommen hat, dass nicht mehr die Show so im Vordergrund steht, sondern man tatsächlich auch zurück zu den Kernen des Liedes gekehrt mhm. ist auch. Weil letztendlich, das ist halt ein Liedwettbewerb. Letztes Jahr, vorletztes Jahr. Ja, genau, genau, Sobral. Und und das zeigt, das zeigt auch die Entwicklung und was, dass, dass die Menschen viel mehr Tiefe brauchen. Ja. Ja. Depth. We, we people need more depth. Mm. The, the, you know. yeah, yeah, because it was like years ago, everyone said your vision is just party and fun and not serious. And now we have um, more and more very deep songs like mm -hmm. yours. Mm. And also, um, not just they are in, but they are doing good. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. I hope you do good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you know how it will be with the whole pandemic? Like, are you allowed to to uh, talk to other artists, or we have to stay at the hotel uh, at the the whole Eurovision period that we're going to be there. Uh, and we're not really allowed to meet each other because uh, of the pandemic. So yeah. uh, for, uh, safety first. We have to yeah. be healthy because if uh, someone uh, gets sick, it's not allowed to go on the stage, which is yeah, yeah. really yeah. awful. So yeah. Yeah, yeah it's very a special situation. Because yes. in, the, in the other years, everyone meets everyone. and. All the people connect the artists. Yeah, yeah it would have been really good. Do it this year, yeah. yeah. But I think that it's still great that it's happening, you know. Yeah, it's, yeah. No matter what, and that they've have found a proper regulation to be able to do it because um, we need that. We need that time to take our minds off of of the days that we live right now of the worries. Um, wir müssen irgendwie Möglichkeiten finden, die, die Sorgen zu vergessen, mm. weil im Moment haben tatsächlich immer noch sehr, sehr viele Menschen äh, viele Sorgen und äh, es gibt immer noch nicht wirklich einen Ausweg, dass diese Sorgen weniger werden. Und ich glaube schon, dass diese Stunden, in denen man so irgendwie weggenommen wird und weggerissen wird, ja. wie die Stunden vom Fernsehen während Eurovision Song Contest läuft, werden auch viele Menschen helfen, weil Musik hat immer geholfen und die richtige Musik noch besser. And what do you think? Um, what will people need uh, more songs um, like that make forget the pandemic because we have like a million positive songs this year? Or um, like a little more sad songs, or will it be a... Um, yeah, so, um, do you think that in the pandemic people need to sing more happy songs so that they get lifted up? Or yeah. is it important yeah. also to sing sad songs so that... I have an answer to that, but... I, I think we need both. Uh, because we need to feel happiness and but we also need to um, be real be real yeah to feel um, real stories not only the happiest side of life but also the 
dark side of life. I'm I'm that kind of artist that wants to tell real stories and sometimes hard stories because not everyone does that and some people are scared to yeah. tell stories like that. And I think growing up is getting old is very relatable to 2020 last year. Oh, yeah. uh, that's why me and my team and the stage directors, we agreed that this is the best message for um, 2021. Yeah. Yeah, I, I pretty much feel the same. It's just only happy songs. It's not real. It's like yeah. you have these feelings inside you and someone has to say it. And, and people who feel it will connect Yeah, and, and need these kind of songs. Yeah, I, th I, I think that too. Uh, it, it, it has become much more important to tell the truth about, about yourself, about your state of mind than, uh, than before. It's, it's, it's important to share. And that's why it's important to have that kind of music so that people can, can share, can get more trustworthy to can can open themselves yeah, through yeah. artists like 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 Victoria this is very important like uh, that kind of artists are are important in the time that we live they yeah. can save lives I'm, I'm yeah, sure yeah. of it yeah yeah and yeah um, and uh, do you have plans for after Eurovision? like just not doing an EP, but a whole album? Uh, yes, of course. Um, for me, Eurovision, Eurovision is just the beginning. And after that, I'm planning to um, write as much as I can new songs to release a second EP or even an album, yeah. if I have enough time to do it. So yeah, I'm planning to work really hard after that. Yeah, yeah. And um, do you plan just in English, like you did with your last songs, or maybe also in Bulgarian? I haven't really thought about that. Maybe um, there's going to be some Bulgarian elements. We'll see. But I'm mostly I'm planning to make my music in English. Yeah. Um, okay, then some uh, small questions at the end. Um, first, uh, because Take This is mentioned in the lyrics, I wanted to know which is your favorite video game or computer game. Oh, hmm. <laughs> I think when I was little, my favorite game was GTA. Yeah, <laughs> it's a car. It's a car. Yeah, yeah. Car is, yeah uh, also The Sims. I really love it. Um, and lately, I've been playing Just Dance which yeah. is really, really fun <laughs> to me. So, yeah, I like video games. <laughs> yeah. Um, ben, what is your favorite Eurovision entry? My favorite Eurovision entry is um, the Portuguese Salvador Sobral. Ah, yeah. Um, I think he has an amazing song. Really, really emotional. So it's it kind of inspired me when I when I uh, found out that I'm gonna be that I'm gonna represent Bulgaria at Eurovision. Yeah. So he inspired me a lot to make my music very real. Was it also an inspiration that you said you want to do it, or was it a dream or an idea already earlier to go to Eurovision one day? Or it was uh, an inspiration for my music. How, how I want it to sound because I really yeah. fell in love with that song. Um, yeah. So I wanted to have real instruments in my music, which is really important. And in nowadays, music is kind of very electronic now. So okay. I really wanted to have something real from the past. Okay. And um, this, uh, so I want to know, um, is are the, all the instruments in the coin up is getting old? Are they recorded for real? Yes, they are. Yeah, ah, cool, pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, and then um, do you have a favorite Bulgarian Eurovision entry? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, Pauli Genova, Christian Kostov. Um, yeah, these, these two. Yeah, and uh, because we are from Germany, <laughs> if you have a German favorite Eurovision entry. Um, I really like this year's song. I think yeah. it's, it has a very good message. So I'm wishing Yendik the best of luck. Yeah. And also... Um, I have a favorite Eurovision song. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, glaube, das ist auch heute ein... Heute ist das eigentlich ein Song, das, das sehr die heutige Zeit halt der Text einfach trifft. Ähm, viele Menschen fragen... Uh, was ist Schuld daran? Warum kommt das Glück nicht zu mir? Wunder gibt es immer wieder, heute oder morgen können sie geschehen. Das ist halt so ein, so ein, ein Text, in den kann man sich jeder reinhören. Und ich höre den immer wieder und denke ich mir, Mensch, das ist wunderbar geschrieben und das ist mhm. zeitlos, so ein bisschen. Ja, mir gefällt er auch sehr gut, Na, obwohl er vor meiner Zeit war. Ja, 70, aber mein Gott. Ja. Also. <lacht> Okay, and then just being curious, are this your dogs? Sorry? The dogs uh, who were the there dogs. at the beginning? Ah, these are my, das sind meine Hunde. Yes. Das sind meine. Genau, das ah. sind Jelly. The Jelly is dahinter. So hier. Yeah. Und der Leo liegt da am Boden. Ja. Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> nice. Ah, now you're awake. Genau. Mom. Aber Ricky hatte auch irgendwie viele Hunde. Sie hat mich ein bisschen inspiriert, mehr als einen Hund zu haben. Ja. <lacht> Weil sie hatte mehrere, bevor ich meinen zweiten hatte. Meine zweite, die Rocky. Also, we have dogs too. Ja. Four. Uh, I have four dogs. Two, two of them are living with me and two of them are with my family in, uh, yeah. in other city. So you love animals, you both. Yeah, yeah. <lacht> Okay, yeah. I think this uh, were my questions. Super. Cool. So, if you have something you want to tell without me asking it, you can. <laughs> um, how was it? Uh, vielen Dank, Deutschland. <laughs> And um, if they really like me, I'll. I'll be really happy if they vote for me. Okay, okay sie ist sehr schüchtern. Okay, man sieht, dass sie noch ein bisschen noch ein bisschen nervös ist. That's me. No, yeah, she she's like that. But um, nee, jetzt im echt. Um, wenn wenn sie sich angesprochen fühlen von 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 Victoria und von allem, was sie zu sagen hat, dann einfach ausnahmsweise an Bulgarien die zwölf Punkte geben. Vielen Dank für Thank die Zeit. Danke, Thank danke, much. danke für die Zeit. Liebe Gruß an alle, an alle, an alle Fans, ESC Fans. Ja. Yeah. Okay. Ciao. Bye. Ciao. Bye.